In this lesson, we'll talk about suppressing information. And basically, this is just not showing areas of our document at certain places within the document. So for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to section out an area of this document and not show a footer for that particular area of the document. So for this example, let's first add a footer. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab. I'm going to choose Footer. And from my drop-down list of footer choices here, I'm going to choose Conservative. And as I scroll down, I can see that this footer will be placed on every page of my document. I'm going to go ahead and close the header and footer design menu. And let's say for an example, as I scroll down, I'm looking and I decide that I would like these paragraphs here to be placed on their own page. And on that page, I don't want to see a footer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a section for just this area of text. And then within that section, I will remove the footer so that there's a footer on every single page of my document except for this one. So in order to do that, I have to first create a section. I'm going to do that by placing my cursor at the top area of the section that I want to create. And I'm going to Page Layout, Breaks, and I'm going to choose a Next Page Section Break. And what that does is it places my text on now what's going to be page four. And I'm going to end my section at the bottom of this text area here. And so I need to go back to Page Layout, Breaks, and insert another Next Page Section Break. Okay, and so now I have the text that I want within this section here on page four. And you'll notice that currently page four has the footer that I originally assigned to all the pages. And what I'm going to do at this point is I want to make sure that my cursor is placed within this section, anywhere within the section. And I'm going to remove the footer just from this page. And so I'm going to go back to my Insert tab. I'm going to go to Footer. And this time I'm going to Edit Footer. Now here, because I am within page four, and that's where my cursor is flashing, I'm going to unlink it to the previous section. So clicking this button will remove that link. And what I need to do before I can remove this footer is because this footer style is applied to the remaining pages, I now also have to unlink page five from page four. So I'm gonna go down to the page five footer I'm going to click down here within this footer section, and I'm going to remove the link to the page five footer. And now page five is no longer associated with the page four footer. It's all by itself. I'm going to scroll back up to the page four footer, click within the footer section here. And now under this option here, this footer drop down, I'm going to click that and choose remove footer. And I'm going to close the header and footer window. And now as I scroll up and down, this is page four. I no longer have a footer with page four. And when I scroll down to page five, I do have a page five footer and so on. When I go back up to the top of the screen and I look at page one, page one has a footer. So does page two and page three. And that's how you would suppress information, specifically footer information, within Microsoft Word.